Hello viewers and subscribers all over the world, my people. There is war going on in Olo Axis. Between Olo and Anambra Axis. Heavy shooting. A helicopter firing sporadically and the entire community is engulfed in fear. Everybody running helter skelter. I got a wind of this this afternoon but i was waiting for a confirmation video which you are just about to see You can imagine. Just, just, just take a look. The same Nigeria so called security forces that could not secure Nigerian people, especially where insecurity is ravaging in the north. Today, I published a video of kidnapped young people, their families, their children, their wives, by suspected Fulani armed bandits, as they call them. Yet, these same security operators have not deployed helicopters and this kind of heavy shooting to end this incessant killing of Nigerian people. The same people that have failed to protect the lives of Nigerian people, especially those in the north, unleashing this kind of terror in our homeland. I make bold to say this. I know many people will be afraid. But let me tell you one thing. A fearful man dies a million times even before he die. Now, I want to use this opportunity to please send out this video to our people, especially those around Olu and Anambra axis of Olu, that those places that will live under all this environs. Please be safe. There is terror, terror in our homeland brought by the Nigerian security operators. Because what I saw here, I wish they could deploy this heavily equipped armed forces against armed bandit militants and that of um, uh, Boko Haram ravaging the north. But they brought it to our doorstep. My people, I tell you, to be honest with you, Nigeria is gone. Nigeria is gone. And the worst of it is that our political leaders from the southeast are playing politics with the life of our people. They are the dumbest, they are the most weak set of political class. Not just in Nigeria, but across the globe. They wash, they fold their hands, they see nothing, they speak nothing. As long as they are not being hit. Listen, I must tell you, this is why I have been a strong advocate to flush these men out. We have seen governors from the West, from the Middle Belt, speaking up, challenging this impunity that is happening from the presidency by keeping silence while the rest of Nigerians are being killed. Listen, just like T.Y. Janjuma said, and just like the Minister of Defense said, that Nigerians should defend themselves. My dear, I tell you, it is war. Share this video and save the life of our people. I'm associated Peters, the voice of the people, the voice of God the voice of our answers. I'm already back home, but I can't sleep tonight until this message gets across to my people.
Bye-bye for now.